What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you about volcanoes and everything that you need to know. Let's start off. What is a volcano? A volcano is a vent that opens in the earth, either in the ocean or on land, and spews lava and pyroclastics into the earth's atmosphere. Magma rises because it is less dense than the earth around it. When pressure builds up, eruptions occur. If it is under the ocean, it can cause volcanic islands. When magma breaks the earth's surface, it is then called lava. An erupting volcano can trigger tsunamis, flash floods, earthquakes, mud flows, and lots more. Now, how is a volcano triggered to go off? Movement along fault lines is most commonly the cause. Pyroclastics is a term given to ash, dust, rocks and gas that is ejected into the Earth's atmosphere during a volcanic eruption. First of all, one way a volcano is triggered off is the convergent, when one plate goes under another plate and magma is pushed up to the surface. A divergent or when plates slide away from each other, after the crust has moved apart, magma then fills in. Volcanoes are formed when magma from within the Earth's upper mantle works its way to the surface. At the surface, it erupts to form lava flows and ash deposits. Over time, as the volcanoes continue to erupt, it will get bigger and bigger. Another question. Where are volcanoes most commonly located? These destructive, fiery mountains are mostly located on the so-called Ring of Fire, on the edges of the Pacific Ocean. At least 90% of volcanoes are on these tectonic plates around the Earth. There are about 1500 active volcanoes around the world. These include about 80 under the ocean. What are the different types of volcanoes? Number one, the cinder cone. Circular over cones made of small lava fragments. Composite volcano, steep sided and is composed of many layers of volcanic rock. Number three, shaped like a bowl or shell along with gentle slopes made by lava flows is the shield volcano. Volcanoes can be classified as active, recently erupted, and there's a possibility that it may erupt soon. Dormant, has not erupted in long time, but there's a possibility it can erupt in the future. Extinct, volcanoes that have exhibited no activity for a long period of time and are unlikely to erupt again. I hope you enjoyed this educational session about learning about volcanoes.